Before you can use a new printer, you need to install the printer on your computer. Let's go ahead and install a new printer on my machine. In order to do that, I select setting out of start menu and I choose printers. As you see, if you have already got some printers installed, you see a list of all available printers in here. So the printers window shows available printers and also it has one option called add printer. I double click on add printer icon in order to install a new printer. The add printer wizard appears. I click next in order to continue. The local printer is allowing me to install a printer that connects directly to your computer. Or you could select network printer. This option allows you to basically connect to a printer that is not directly connected to your machine but is somewhere on the network. In other words, that printer perhaps has been connected to a different computer or perhaps has its own network card like HP printers and can be detected over the network. So we click this option. If the printer is not plug and play, the wizard will not attempt to detect any specific printer for you if you deselect that. So you should read the documentation on your printer device. If it is not a plug and play printer, you should just get rid of this checkbox. Otherwise, you could select that. So automatically, Windows operating system can detect the driver for your printer. So if I click Next, it tries to search for available printers that have been connected to your machine. And basically, in this example, as you see, Windows was unable to detect any plug and play printers because I don't have any specific, perhaps, printer connected to this machine or perhaps my printer is not a plug and play device. If I go back and clear automatically detect and install my plug and play printer, click next, automatically shows me basically the list. We can click the port we want to use for this printer. So basically when installing a printer, you must specify which port the printer is connected to. A port is a socket at the back of the computer where you, you plug in a device. So we can click on the port that we want to use uh, for this particular printer. Please note that LPT1 in this example is the most commonly used port for most printers. So I just choose that as a default and click next to continue. You can always click back at any time to return to the previous window and perhaps go ahead and change some of the values in the previous screen anyways. Well basically after you click next the list of available manufacturers for printers are being listed over here and also for each specific manufacturer you see a list of all available models that that manufacturer has already created. As you see for example Apollo has one model versus Agfa which has a variety of different models. You could go down and find a particular printer that you have purchased for example NEC or per, for example uh, Minolta. So if the printer that you want to use does not appear in the list basically all you need to do either have the disk for that particular printer or check for Windows updates over the Internet. For this example, I just choose NEC model, for example, JetMate 400. I click Next to continue. Windows provides a name for the printer. Basically, this printer, this printer name, it automatically uses the model name that the manufacturer has provided. You could use a different name. You could type any other name as you wish. You could also click an option to specify whether or not you want to use the printer as default printer. Just in case if you have more than one printer in this example as you see. If I have more than one printer, you could specify which printer is being used throughout the application. If you click yes, that printer will be a default printer. So I select no because I don't want this printer to be my default printer. And then I click next to continue. You can click an option to specify if you want to share the printer with others on the network. If you want someone to come and use your printer as well, you are basically sharing your printer name. So people can see your printer and detect it over the network. And perhaps by the time they are adding their own new printer, they could use the network printer option and connect to that particular printer. So I click next to continue. And basically in this section, we could specify the location and the comment for it. The location and comment will be handy by the time you're working within a domain environment so people can find the location of the, this printer. Uh, for example, you could specify the department in your company or the city that you are in or 
perhaps a comment that identifies this printer a little bit more. You don't have to specify any information. These two sections are totally optional. We can click Next, and now in this section, we could choose an option in order to specify whether or not you would like to do a test page. Well, basically, if you don't want to have a test page, you could say no. If you wanted to have a test page to see if you have successfully installed the printer, you could say yes. I click Next, and then here you have a summary window. This wizard indicates that you have successfully completed the wizard. All you need to do now, click Finish in order to install the printer driver. And as you see, this printer has been installed, and the hand right below that specific printer, it shows that you have shared basically this particular printer with others, other people over the network.